Time to find the hyena. Must first speak to Mered. Volodoris contact. He is a merchant somewhere in this marketplace. Welcome to Mered's wares, traveler. Well, what do you think? Junk. Be off then. Ah, uh, I haven't finished. Are you blind? I've nothing left to show you. But you've much to tell me, about the hyena. Ah, funny. As it turns out, that happens to be the most expensive thing I'm offering. <laughs> funny indeed. Delivery upon payment. Do you have enough to barter with me? Yeah, your absurd fee. Now what can you tell me? The hyena is not her real name. <laughs> easy, easy. A poor attempt at humor, I'm afraid. Where can I find her? Her name is Khaliset. A favor. Some customers of mine took my horse after a dispute. Their camp lies in a quarry just south of here. Take my man, retrieve my horse, and I'll give you what you came for. Ah. How you find yourself in Apollodorus' company escapes me. Oh. You'll get it for me. If Apollodorus wants my continued service. <laughs> oh, you are friends with Mered? He's a necessary ally. Mered rarely keeps protectors as allies. He pays well, and very... <laughs> and very few pay at all here in Giza. Cannot trust this sand in your hand. What can you tell me of the hyena? <laughs> Tell me of the hyena, this Haliset girl. Can you tell me of the hyena, this Haliset girl? <laughs> we speak one word and we are hyena for you. Nice try. Come on, be on guard. We have a horse to retreat. Thank <laughs> you. 
Must be Meret's horse. He neglected to tell me his customers were bandits. to mention it was in the possession of bandits. Slipped my mind. Hmm. Good. Stronger than mine. I thought you said it was yours. <laughs> yes, yes, of course it is. You've done good by me, my friend. Then you'll deliver as promised. My word is my word. But I've one more thing to ask of you. Ah, done with your games. All right. The hyena lives in a cavern, just over those hills. Day and night she roams the desert collecting silica, precious teardrops of the gods. What has happened to those who have interfered is best left unsaid. If I find you've led me on another futile chase, it won't be my words that hit your ears. A thousand promises. I have no reason to defy you. Don't die out there! <laughs> Magi. The hyena, where is she? I do not know. I am... I'm the only one left. She took the others away hours ago. Took them where? She kills them. I know it. She... She... Her hands. Oh, gods. Her hands are so bloody. Peace, friend. You are free. I will deal with Haliset. Where is Halisa taking captives? And why? Someone has... a letter. The symbol of the snake is on it. Hmm. Halisa is clearly working with the Order. And they don't know she took some of this... This is where Haliset slept, protected from sandstorms. The lotus flower of rebirth. She must have picked these for a reason.
Fu's tomb. She has detailed every crevice. Ah, she has not finished. That is where I will find her. I will head to the pyramids. Hyenas. Khaliset must be inside. Jai who has treaded many dunes to find you. Hide if you must, Hyena. But this tomb will not protect you. I demand that you stop here. Turn back now and I will excuse this intrusion. Siwa was an intrusion. man i am iset possessor of magic the gods live here not you what sort of mischief is she entertaining be gone osiris cannot be disturbed this trap door what is it protecting heathen the wakeful one is asleep Go no further, or I will drench these arid plains with your blood! What is this place? A tomb beneath a tomb. Is this where you hide, hyena? What gruesome madness happened here? A dark place with a window to the gods. Still warm. And the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. What kind of... Hmm. Alisa drew these symbols here. Was she trying to figure out their meaning? What kind of ritual is she performing? This sarcophagus is decorated with goddesses of the mother. Strange symbols are marked all over it. Offerings to Osiris, protector of the dead. I think I know what dark deeds Haliset was after here. Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used a knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. When she knew the symbols, she carved them here and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Aliset must be trying to bring someone back to life. 
But just who is buried down here? Child. My child! You lost your child. I haven't. Her rest is temporary. You have intervened on her reawakening. And yet you aligned yourself to the order. Ravaged this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother. You're no match for me, Jessica Gump! show you what happens to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb. No! I walk among the dead now. A just end. You defiled the dead and enabled the people who killed my son. All on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? These symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris! Please grant me reunion. She walks alone in the field of reeds. Am I to remain in the Dua forever? I just want my daughter back!
find your daughter in the afterlife, Hallison. Picked up that blade I found. Good. Well, they're definitely planning to kill me. You've been living in the mind of a trained assassin for the past however many hours, remember? So get ready to rock, killer queen. I'm ready, American woman. They're using bows, not guns. Why? Guess they don't consider you much of a threat. They're almost on me. Going dark. How's it going? Bad. I have to do this. It's them or me. Hey. Just your wife. What? Hey. to this you work for abstergo and i'm dead do me a favor and make sure sophia ricken hears it my dream was to work on the animus project i waited 12 years waiting got me nowhere so i built an animus that lets me access anyone's memories even ancestors not my own i even witnessed the origins of the assassins artifacts tombs that were supposed to be stuff of legends i found them by killing me you've lost all this knowledge I understand why you thought I had to die. But did you have to kill my best friend? What did she? Oh, Habibti. I should have listened to you. Find your daughter in the afterlife, Haliset. May the Lord of the Duat guide you. I've killed all these naked Yadet. Apollodorus must be told. To Heraklion. Luku has returned. Bayak of Siwa. Perfect that you have met us in Heraklion. A city of wine, women, whatever a magi like you desires. And deserves. Ah, to the queen. Bayek. You arrive at an opportune time. Cleopatra, I'm still looking for the men who killed my son. The order is neutralized. Was my hunt for me or for you? I have two more names. The order can't be... And how many more names after that? As many as it takes. 
I wish to bring my son to the afterlife where he belongs, not... Ah, I like you, Cleopatra. But the royal matters that seduced my wife do not sway me so. What does the badge mean to you? Have you forgotten? This badge means more to you than it does to me. This is not one man we are fighting. Nothing ends, simply. Aya has understood that you have a new reality. I am your pharaoh. You are Magi to all of Egypt. Follow me. We have a gift. <clears throat> Speaking of Magi, any news of Aya? Aya is still defending the seas. We are expecting him to and his fleet any day now. To unite against the Order and change the land. I did see a lot on my hands that sickened me. Our land is being oppressed greatly. I realize we cannot let the Order rise again. Yes, Bayek. The two new names, the Jekyll and the Scorpion, are within my brothers in a circle. We believe they are the ones behind the attempt on my life. An attempt on your life? By your brother's Philakis? Hard to tell. A Gabignani, one of Septimius' warriors. They form a militia 2,000 strong. I had hoped to ally with them. With Septimius? The Roman lug. He leads them. Yes, the dreamer who posits himself as truly Egyptian, and yet sends a man to murder me. Not very Egyptian, if you ask me. Aya feels he is working for the Order, and has a proxy here named Venator. Perhaps he is the masked one that forced my son's death upon me. Here is your gift. He is in the order of ancients like Septimius. We found him snooping around the villa. We think he knows who killed your son. My brother Septimius killed your son, and I don't give a shit! Shit giving is my job. Fuck those twins up! Venator! Enough for you. I will press him for more information. I suggest uh, you visit the brothel in town. Yes. Go dig through this Dionysian town and unearth the plot against us. Septimius is in town. His main philakis is a man named Venator. We heard the rumor. Here, Harry. Oh, some awesome soup. Ah, look. It is the Magi. <laughs> One more warrior to add to our ranks. Ah, a true warrior. I have a discount for... Wait. You're not with the Cabinianis, are you? No, I am not. I am a Magi. Whoa. Magis used to come here all the time. But not recently. Who do you work for, then? Cleopatra. I heard she was in town. Well, a Magi working for his pharaoh. You must have gold to burn. I would like to speak with your legendary twins. Speaking is what you call it. I suppose we all have our thing. The twins are going to cost you if you want to speak or anything else with them, Magi. Make yourself comfortable upstairs. The twins will come for you. They had a rough night yesterday, so don't speak too hard with them, hmm? Uh. 
You wanted to speak to us? I'm looking for a Gabagnani named Venator. Shh! Do not say that name! She is a naked Iadet. I won't hold my tongue for that monster. Everyone is scared of him, but you should kill him. He's staying at the top of the square. He won't be staying anywhere ever again. This place has been busy. Venator does not work alone. Blood on the walls. This Venator is sick. What have you and your men been up to? This place smells like a swamp. Broken dishes. It reeks of foul play. Target practice on Cleopatra. Venator is training his Gabagnanis for an assassination. Stick and scented oils. Were women of the street here? And Roman regalia. Odd. Seems Venator wants his men to mix well. <clears throat> wine casks. This doesn't smell like wine, though. Oil in wine casks. Enough oil to burn down the whole city. My gods. A crafty plan. One of the men is posing as a woman. Must be to infiltrate the palace. Posing as wine merchants, they will dock and set a fire to cause a panic. With an archer ready to pick off the queen in the confusion. Somewhere high. Venator. More than just one of Septimius dogs. You have your own puppets within the order. I have to find them before they strike. who will play for Cleopatra? You are so lucky. Alexis! He was an imposter. A Roman man who wanted to kill the queen. I am doing you a favor. Never a dull moment in this town. I should be cautious around here. Can we return to the broth? Let's leave Cleopatra and... Stand up, 
Quis venia dad me infernum! Facide iudicium puere, secundus! Siste, confute! De gladius meius dis! Aya, my love. Bayek! <laughs> ah, you smell of the sea. The high seas have taken me for some time, but now I'm yours. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> I... I am fine. Nothing hurts anymore. My mind is a riot. All I have is that I am pushed further. One more attempt to snuff me out. My queen, rest and remember I do that... not need rest. This civil war is no closer to ending. I need a fucking throne. My throne rots in the hands of my brother. Instruct Foxidus to prepare ship. We head to meet Pompey. My last resort. You two go ahead and tell him we're coming. Yes, my queen. Bayek, if we don't get to Pompey first, Septimius might.
Appears oh. those Gabignanis left us a feluca. Oh. Kind of them. And of Potinus? He will be more fodder for the devourer. And then we return home. We will only return home with Cleopatra and our company, to show the Sea Ones what has changed, what we have changed. How are things on your trireme? Great. Foxidas has entrusted me with... Why don't we take each other here? In this reed boat. Take advantage of these rare moments between us, before your new job steals you away as savior of all Egypt. You make jokes, but it is not funny. It is greatness I am after. This country is at civil war, one simply cannot deny it. Everywhere is misery. I love you, Aya. And we are Medja. We do serve and protect, but we work alone. I share your hatred for Ptolemy. But remember, Cleopatra is a Ptolemy. She is the better of two evils. We must serve greatness. What greatness do we serve now? We are parents. We were parents. I love you, Bayek of Siwa. But what are you of now? Death hangs in the air. The stench is great. We're getting familiar with rotten flesh. Are those bodies? Gods. The Nile will run red for many moons. Uh, Osiris will be busy. These are Romans. None of Ptolemy's naked ear. Ah. Septimius has beat us. Funny how all great men are reduced to food for maggots. This is a cemetery for our ambitions. No. No, it can't be. Where is Caesar? He has arrived in Alexandria. He is heavily guarded, so there's... Bring me to him. I will get to Caesar if I have to drag myself through the sewers of the palace. Warning, Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the Queen on her throne, or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. My loyal shield boy! Are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> Raya, she is the real goddess. There, in the distance. Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. Brothers at sea, today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. 
She of the Sage and Bee. With so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you direct your attention to the fall, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down upon us. Emissaries of our little Pharaoh. How kind of them to come forth! Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly! With a ball of flaming refuse! Ah, la, 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 la! This reminds me of a day 20 years back, when I sailed the cruise pirates. The Sicilians were it. Ah, you heard the stories. That's right. I was a hired call then. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only peek into the life of a scoundrel. I prefer having a charade of pieces. Only a charade. A shred can be hard to come by. He speaks! The great Medjai! We are at sea, Captain. Any great was here? Yours. Ptolemites! Burn them! Yes! We are burning our lives! Ah, Give them like a them taste up. of our fire! Well done then! Sea craft comes naturally to you. Easier to sail about when the sea is empty of ships trying to sink you. What a dozen missing triremes, not a lot the main fleet. It will take some time for them to find the wreckage. Onwards! Captain, my sheet smells like charcoal. Damastes, please, shut up! We press on! With caution. Then, more Ptolemy ships! They'll want to box us in and drive us against the shore. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those Nekatiadet will feel Ra's arrows. Nice to hear Egyptian Bogerti on a Greek ship. Variety is what makes life interesting. And bloodshed. La 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 la! The fleet awaits your command, Aya. Our catapults will fire upon your order. Damn it! Don't save our ammunition, Aya! Waste it! And there! Look out! There's a big one in the the fire! Wake him up! And tell him it's time to unleash his wrath! This is not a battle we'll win without catapults! La 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 la! Amen! The fleet is at your disposal! One signal, and fire first upon them! Now! This is not a battle we'll win without catapults! La 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 la! The fleet is at your disposal! One signal, and fire first upon them! Don't save our ammunition, Aya! Waste it! And there! Arrows! Oh, Which one is the god of fire? Wake him up! And tell him it's time to unleash his wrath! This is not a battle we'll win without catapults! La 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 la! The air stinks, but not the horsemen. Something else. Hold, Foxidas. Look there, at the water. Dearly, by the balls of Zeus! 
I want the ocean to dark with their blood! Damage this! Make the call! Increase the river! Yes, my captain! Alala! A settled octary! A floating ship! Blast! The gods wish my fleet destroyed? Fickle to sight it! This old fish will stick in your grizzled throat! Bear up, old man. You would not have the gods without cones. I'll take angry gods over docile ones right now! Open up the skies and rain some kind of shit down on us! We have one last beast to hunt. since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father. <laughs> Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we are done. <laughs> Attacking Star Wars! Oh, we are not done! Ptolemy's Malachir are not dead yet! Get out of the ring box! Use the fog to hide your escape! I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Free, you fool! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs>
We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. We cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm then. Armed or not, they will recognize her. For once, perhaps, a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Is our queen all right? I'm fine. Who are we? Let me do the talking. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my Philakitae. We bring gifts from our local merchants. And let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Do you think we could take them all? Of course. We have better gods than them. Are we there yet? Domine. Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy the Thirteenth, his envoys from the east, with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on then. An offering? Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry. It is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philakidae. They understand the merchandise. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Huh. I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. Continue this way. Guest legionary, at ease. We'll stay in the palace until all politics are concluded. My palace is at your disposition, Gaius. Pompey was bound to be killed soon. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. You are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <clears throat> what is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! My wretched brother. He's let the wine go to vinegar. And my kingdom to pieces. Great lady. Your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. 
I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Bortinus and Septimius gone. We missed them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You proved your worth tenfold today. You truly are great Medjais. Thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> it is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. <laughs> 